It is day two of Argentinian President Javier Milei's visit to Israel. On Wednesday, he confirmed his intention to move Argentina's embassy to Jerusalem, echoing the decision taken by former U.S. President Donald Trump in 2018. It's a move welcomed by his hosts. We're delighted with your decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital, to move your a diplomatic uh, uh, post there and also, of course, uh, an embassy. Hamas condemned the decision, saying it violated the rules of international law. While Millet realigns the country on the international stage, back home he faces growing challenges to introduce the radical changes he has promised. Millet's flagship legislation, the Omnibus Bill, crashed in Congress on Tuesday when the lower house was debating each article individually. The bill now returns to the congressional commissions. It's a turn of events that reverses weeks of negotiations. Last week, Argentina's lower house had approved the general bill, but disagreements emerged over the privatization of state-owned companies, the special powers the bill grants the president, as well as the distribution of tax income to provinces. Inside Congress, the opposition applauded what they consider a victory, forcing a rewrite of the controversial bill. And outside, where last week there had been violent clashes between police and protesters, there were celebrations. This woman said the lawmakers had to defend the Argentine people, that was their job, and that they must stop the legislation moving forward. On social media, the government and Millet singled out lawmakers they consider traitors. The government considers the legislation that deregulates the economy the bedrock of its project to tackle the country's economic crisis. It's the worst in three decades. But still less than two months into his presidency, Millet has suffered his first major defeat and is showing few signs he is willing to make any more concessions. Joel Richards, CGTN, Buenos Aires.